big daddy, the Makita XPH07. This is the brushless hammer drill. This is Makita's top of the line in cordless hammer drills before you start getting into like rotary hammers and stuff like that. I got this drill as the bare tool from eBay for $100. I'll have a link to that in the description. So what does the bare tool come with? Well, it comes with everything you see here except the battery. So it comes with the depth gauge, this big handle here, and of course the drill itself. In this video we're going to test it, and we're also going to test it against the Makita XPH-10, which is the base model for their hammer drills. This is brushed, it is not brushless. Uh, I got this home de at Home Depot with the battery and charger for $100. So this test really shouldn't even be close. We've got Makita's bottom of the line brushed hammer drill versus Makita's top of the line brushless hammer drill. So let's take a look at some of the features of this drill. We've got a brushless motor with over a thousand inch pounds of torque. That's really going to help you drive in screws and auger bits. We've got a battery indicator down here, even though the batteries do have their own battery indicator. This one has it on it as well. We've got dual LEDs as opposed to single LED on most of their tools. Moving up, we've got a 21 uh, position clutch. We've got our three modes. We've got our hammer mode, our regular drilling mode, and then our screw mode, which is gonna use that 21 position clutch. We've got this big long handle to give you the most amount of torque as you're turning so the drill doesn't you know torque out of your hands we've got this depth gauge here so that you can adjust it so how how deep you want to drill especially that's very helpful when going into concrete and we've got a yakiwa chuck on here and to my knowledge this is one of the if not the best chucks on the market especially in terms of rollout another thing about the chucks is that it is metal on the xph07 and plastic on the XPH-10. So what makes a hammer drill different from a regular drill? Well, inside of the chuck area, when you put it on the hammer mode, the chuck rides along little grooves all on the inside. So if you put some pressure on it, you'll hear that clicking noise, which is actually the chuck vibrating like that and hammering it into the material. Both of these drills do have this function. I'll show you here. That one has it as well. So we are going to be testing that specifically in this video. We'll start with the XPH-10, the brushed drill, with a hole saw into some three-quarter inch plywood. And it is on drill mode. So no problem. And now the brushless Makita XPH07. Again, no problem. Now we'll do the Makita XPH10 with a one inch self-feeding auger bit. And we're gonna try it first on speed two, and we're gonna do it on the drill setting. Okay, so that, even though it didn't go all the way through, that is okay, because the self-feeding part came out the other end and had nothing to feed into, which is why that happened. So let's just finish it off now, and I'll have to push on this one. And we're through. Now the brushless hammer drill. We're going to probably see it go a lot faster, since the extra torque should really help it, especially in speed two.
and it's through. And now we'll do the same thing on speed one. So here's the non-brushless, the brushed one first. Not a problem. And now the brushless on speed one. But what really sets these drills apart is their hammer function capabilities. So let's test that now. Here we've got a cinder block and a concrete bit. I'm going to put it on speed two, this is the non brushless one first, and we'll put it on the hammer function and we'll see how it does. Right off the bat, this one's going to be a little bit harder to use since I don't have the depth gauge. I'm trying to drill it the right depth for these screws. And since I don't have a depth gauge, I'll either have to eyeball it or I could put a piece of tape on here, but the depth gauge is going to be a lot easier to use as we'll see in a minute. All right, let's give it a go and see how it does. So there's the hole we just made. Now I'm gonna try and run a screw into it with the drill. We'll put the drill on setting one and we will turn it to drill and i'm going to put the clutch all the way up to 21. so let's drive it in we're going to be using the makita impact x bits for this okay it didn't drive it in all the way and it torqued out at clutch setting 21. so i'll just put it on drill mode now and we'll give it another shot Notice how it's really torquing my hand this way. I can't hold it back, which is why that handle would be really good right now. And we'll test that. All right, so we'll do the same thing with this one. We'll drill a hole first. I'm gonna put it on setting two, hammer drill, and we'll see how this does. Oh, forgot the depth gauge. That'll be useful. I'll use the depth gauge and I'll push it back. So I want it to go to here and I'll just line that depth gauge up with how deep I want it to go. And then we'll tighten it down and now it'll drill to that depth. So let's do it. Hit the depth gauge, stopped at the right depth, and this is good for repeatability as well. All right, there's the hole, and now we'll drive it in with the brushless Makita XPH07. We broke the concrete bit, or not the bit, the uh, screw. That's how much torque this thing has. We just snapped the head right off the screw. I should have used the clutch. So I'll just drill another hole real quick and do the same thing. All right, now I got the clutch set to 21 and hopefully it won't break it off this time. We'll run it in again. All right, perfect. Clutch worked and stopped it at the right torque. So now I'll drill two more holes and we'll see how the impact driver runs it in. All 
And this is the Makita XDT14 brushless three-speed impact driver. And we'll be doing it on full speed. And there we go. The reason I showed you that with the impact driver was to emphasize how with a regular drill, it's gonna torque your arm over, but an impact driver really doesn't because it's impacting, there's no actual torque on your arm. Now to mitigate this with a drill, this big long handle is really gonna help you control it, which is why this drill is the top of the line drill. Now let's try this spade bit. We'll start off with the regular hammer drill. Now we'll switch it over to the brushless. Quite a bit faster for the same amount of depth and I stopped right here. Overall, both these drills did very good in all the tests, but the XPH 07 brushless hammer drill really shined when it came to driving in any sort of screws because it has such a big long handle and it has more power and more torque than the regular one does. And for $100 as the bare tool, that's a price that can't be beat for the absolute top of the line drill that Makita makes. I would not hesitate to buy this drill. And the link will be in the description for that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.